everybody and welcome along to another one of the cookery videos. So this um, cookery video was supposed to be live tonight but a bit of a technical difficulty so instead I have pre-recorded it earlier today so you can still enjoy it tonight at 7.30. So thank you so much to everybody who voted in um, choosing the dishes for tonight. So it was between my healthier banana bread and my lovely healthy flapjacks. So overwhelmingly you voted for the flapjacks. So a few people have been asking about them um, over the last maybe couple of months on the Facebook page anyway. So to, uh, tonight I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. They are so, so simple. You will have them all thrown together in five or ten minutes and into the oven as well. Okay, so just to give you a little rundown of what we're going to be including in these ones. Really easy stuff that you're probably going to have in the cupboards anyway. And also get the kids involved as well because it really is just mashing bananas and mixing as well. And there isn't too much weighing involved and if you want to sort of just uh, measure stuff out using cups or you know the little measuring cups you have these sort of ones as well or you can use your weighing scales whichever you like so we're going to be using some lovely organic oats here i have here great source of fiber so brilliant for your digestive system and also a great source of b vitamins so to give you lovely loads of energy as well um, so if you are the type of person who when you get up in the morning you can't eat too much um, or you don't feel like eating maybe till 10 or 11 in the morning these are a great option you can pack in loads of goodness and I'll chat through that as we go along and you can have them as breakfast bars okay so technically they are like protein bars as well so alongside our lovely organic oats we have some lovely a super seeded mix or you could have ground flaxseed, ground hemp seed, linseed, whatever you fancy yourself, chia seeds. I have some of them as well, we can add some of those in. We're also going to be adding in some pumpkin seeds as well. So pumpkin seeds are a fantastic source of zinc. So with um, the coronavirus on the go around now at the moment, everybody's looking to boost their immune system. So you want to be getting in lots of your antioxidants, but your pumpkin seeds packed full of zinc and zinc is essential to keep your immune system strong okay so those little things that you should know and that you will know for putting into your diet every day great way of just boosting your immune system naturally so into that we're also going to be putting um, a little bit of melted coconut oil or you can put some olive oil as well we are only going to be adding one tablespoon of our maple syrup or you could add honey as well um, I will say is this is really just to give it a bit of flavour and I am trying to reduce, reduce, reduce any sort of added sugar at all. But you'll see at the end is that it's actually, when you see the whole tray of what we have, one tablespoon of maple syrup, we're doing okay on that. And then to flavour it up as well, we're going to also be putting in some lovely smooth peanut butter. So that is the whole earth one. So I recommend when people are asking about the nut butters is either whole earth or meridian. Because both, both of those are absolutely no added sugar whatsoever. Just a little pinch of salt. Okay, some of them have a little bit of palm oil in them, but it's a teeny tiny little bit. But this one in particular, I love it. The kids love it. It's really, really tasty. Okay, and then into that as well, I have just four large bananas here. So we're going to start to mash them down. Okay, so we'll get going. I also have our tray here. You'll see the size of it. So I use the silicone trays because they're so much easier, you don't have to grease them. So this is about a 20, I think 23 inch square, 22 inch square um, silicone um, pig tin. But you can use like a brownie tin or something like that, absolutely up to yourself. Because you might find that you double this mixture or half this mixture as well. So really don't get caught up in the size of your tin. Okay, so I'm going to pop that aside just for the moment. And we're going to get start making these. So. We're going to turn on our pot. We're going to go in with one tablespoon of our coconut oil. Okay? So we don't need that much because it's the bananas that are also going to bring the moisture. So you can see there, not too much. Pop that into your pan. I'm going to melt that down with two tablespoons of your nut butter of choice. If you make your own nut butter, by all means, pop that in as well. So we're just going to pop that into our, our pot here. Pull that over so you can see it. And we're just going to put in one more. So that's two large uh, dessert spoons or tablespoons of your no sugar peanut butter. Okay, so again, you're trying to keep the sugar out of, when you are making flapjacks, you're trying to keep the sugar out as well, okay, to keep them a little bit healthier. Now, into that, we're going to go with just one tablespoon of our maple syrup. 
we're just going to pop that straight into the pan and we're just going to let that melt very very slowly till it's all quite liquidy so we'll turn that down a little bit because you really just want it to just liquefy down now we're going to get our dry goods underway here so for our dried goods get our weighing scales on and we're going to go in with about 300 grams of our oats okay you can as i say use your measuring cup if you like but i'm just going to go in because the weighing scales is nice and handy so about 300 grams you don't have to be too exact with this if you think it looks dry mash up another banana and pop that in it's absolutely fine so i'm just going to pop that out of the way okay into this we are going to go in with about about three tablespoons of our ground seeds now while we're doing this don't forget about your mixture here give it a little stir around i'm going to show you now in a second and it's really going to liquefy it down okay so just keep mixing it around you can really add any flavors you like into this totally up to yourself and that's perfect so i'm just going to show you what that looks like so you can see there that it really is just a lovely runny consistency okay that's what you're looking for and that's going to give your flapjacks the moisture okay so back here for adding in our dried goods so our ground seeds we're going to go in with three tablespoons and this is where you're starting to pack up your flapjacks with lots of goodness okay your ground linseeds seeds and flax seeds and chia seeds and all they are a fantastic plant source of your omega fats, okay, your omega 3s. So you normally get your omega 3s from your oily fish or from your avocados or from your olive oils. But try to get in the habit of adding in um, things like your, um, your seeds, your linseeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds. All of them are a great source of your omega fats. Okay. So in we're going to go as well. Now I'm going to go in this bag is 175 grams of pumpkin seeds. And I'm actually going to toss the whole lot in because my kids actually like them. So we'll pop them in as well. Okay, but you can also pop in chopped nuts as well. Totally up to yourself what you fancy. Now over here, I have some lovely organic chia seeds as well. So I'm going to go in with them as well. So I'll go in with maybe two tablespoons of those. Now they are quite a binder. So don't go in with too many of them as well because they will actually bind and slightly dry out your mix as well. So just pop that to one side. Okay, now don't be too precious on this. Go straight in with your hand and just mix it all around. So you're giving everything a really, really good mix. And actually I'm going to pop one other thing in here, which is some ground cinnamon. So again, I'm going to go in with about one teaspoon of our ground cinnamon. I love it so, and it's so, so good for balancing your blood sugars which basically means is keeping away those cravings. Okay, so if you're somebody who's a bit of a sweet tooth and you're trying to give it up for Lent, get some cinnamon into your porridge, into these type of protein bars, get cinnamon in in your smoothies as well. It's a brilliant one for stopping the sweet cravings. So again, go in there, give everything a good mix around. Now, sometimes I add uh, chopped cranberries or lovely um, unsulfured apricots as well, but I just don't have any, any today. I thought I did in the cupboard, but there's nothing there. So we're ju I'll just go with them as plain. Now, you can see there that I just have a lovely, just all of them just mixed in together and the lovely smell of cinnamon is coming up and it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we have our lovely mixture here with our peanut butter and our maple syrup and everything as well and we're just going to get in now mashing down the bananas so also as well at this point is stick your oven on to 180 fan and you're just going to let that come up and heat up for a couple of minutes so with your bananas is just mashing them down until they're quite liquidy nearly because you do actually want them to be the moisture in the in these flapjacks as well because then added to the uh, peanut butter mix as well that's what's going to give the wetness to them otherwise you're going to end up with a very very dry flapjack now this is sort of taking the place of the common butter lots and lots of butter and honey into the flapjacks but we're actually trying to reduce the sugar 
in them as well and also they're making them dairy free as well for anybody that has any sort of dairy or uh, lactose intolerances as well so these are good for everybody and if you use if you are um, gluten intolerant as well or you're making them for somebody with a gluten intolerance or celiacs is just ensure that you get your gluten free oats and otherwise everything else is gluten free just double check your cinnamon obviously but um, in general it should be all gluten free now so you can see they're just lovely and mushy so in we're just going to go to our pot with our honey our maple syrup and our lovely coconut oil as well okay so give everything a good mix around there if you find it's looking a little bit dry is just pop one more mashed banana in because again that's going to give it that lovely sweetness as well and it's also going to give it a bit of moisture okay now you do need a bit of elbow grease on this one when you're mixing it in so you can see there it's quite sort of gloopy at this point, but honestly, that is what is going to give it all the moisture. So we'll just get rid of my scales there for a second. And we're just going to go in with our lovely banana mix. Now, for anyone that's looking to bulk these up a little bit more as breakfast bars, I can recommend is adding in some protein powder. So you can get yourself either, you know, your pea protein, your brown rice protein powder, any of those protein powders you use, just try when you are choosing a protein powder, is try to choose one that has as natural ingredients as possible. Quite a few of them have quite a lot of nasties in them. So just be aware of that when you are actually choosing one. Now, get in with your elbow grease and just give everything a good mix around with your fork. And you just want to coat every one of the oats, okay? So you don't want anything going into the oven where it hasn't been coated. So I'm just going to grab a spatula for this one. Just to give it a bit more of a mix, okay? And it does just require pressing the banana mix back into the oats okay now there's nothing to stop you if you want to do this in a food processor as well just be careful that you don't blitz the oats down into nothing because I actually like um, I prefer actually using the jumbo oats because there's a bit more chew to it when you actually bite into them okay I think that's just about done there so you will see there just well mixed around it's almost like a bit of a bread dough okay so nice and thoroughly mixed Okay, so we're just going to get our pig tin. Get this out of the way. Okay, and I just have it, because it's a silicone and it's really, really bendy, I have it on a solid tray. And it just means that when you lift them out of the oven later, is as you go to lift them, you're not going to break them up, okay? So, just put all of that, scrape all that lovely goodness out of the bowl. And just pop that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a palette knife. I'm going to smooth that out as well. So get yourself a good palette knife or even a normal knife. And that makes everything a little bit easier for actually spreading out. So just force it down into the cake tin. Now, as I say, you can make these individually as well in little sort of silicone muffin tins. And then you have basically little round flapjacks as well but they're as easy to make like this so again try to press the mixture down evenly throughout the whole thing as well because obviously as it's even it's going to cook better and also when you cut it you're not going to get a teeny tiny little thin slice you're going to get a nice thick slice same as so just go around the four corners and press that in sometimes using spoon can be the best way of smoothing it out because at this point it has got quite sticky and we'll just smooth that all down so we want it to look nice when it comes out as well and just make sure that's quite even yeah now just use your palette knife again then just to go around the edges 
Okay, so you'll see there we just have it pressed down into the cake tin. Now, some other um, varieties in here as well is if you're making it, I mean, uh, for Lent, I, I gave up chocolate for Lent, so um, I'm not putting it in here. But sometimes I love just even getting some 85% um, and 90% dark chocolate melted in a glass jar or a glass bowl over some boiling water and you can drizzle it over the top and let that dry out. And you've got quite a decadent thin, more sort of an adult flapjack. For kids, I get maybe like 70% for them. And again, just drizzle over the top. Or you can break them into little bits and you can pop them throughout it as well. Again, adding in your cranberries or adding in your apricots as well. And try to choose the ones with no added sugar again. And that means you're just keeping the excess sugar down out of it. So again, just to recap over the in, um, ingredients for this is, um, well, first of all, I'm going to pop them in the oven. So they're going to go in the oven at 180 for 20 minutes. Okay, so let me just pop these in. And just set your timer on that because you really don't want them to get any, any uh, more cut than that. So just a quick recap on the ingredients for this one. So we started off, we had 280 grams of our oats. And again, you can have your gluten-free oats as well. We had our ground uh, flaxseed, hemp seed, and linseed. We had our pumpkin seeds. We had uh, some ground cinnamon. And those four were going into a bowl as our dried goods. Give them a really good mix around with your hand or a whisk. And then into a small pot, we added one tablespoon of coconut oil. We added two, where have we gone now? We added one tablespoon of our maple syrup or honey, not raw honey, keep that just for eating uh, raw uncooked. And we had two tablespoons of our peanut butter, absolutely no sugar in it. Melted them over a very gentle heat. We mashed down four bananas, really ripe bananas, the riper they are, the um, more tasty they are and the sweeter they are as well. So we mash them down, we mix them into the melted, melted mixture of these three into like a smooth paste. Then we put our wet into our dry, our oat mix, and we just mix it around really, really well and then pop that into a pre-prepared cake tin. I just use a silicone tin, but if you're doing one yourself, is either grease around the tin or just pop in a little bit of greaseproof paper and you should be fine. Okay, and the tin, a Swiss roll tin, a brownie tin, that was a 23 inch square tin. You can use round tins, you can use the little muffin tins, whatever takes your fancy. And then we pop that into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, and that's gonna cook for 20 minutes. So do not be tempted when you see that it looks quite pale, oh, I'll leave it in for another few minutes. If you do that, yes, it will get darker, but it would also get drier and you'll end up with a very, very dry flapjack. So 20 minutes max, set your timer, take it out. Once you take it out of the oven, do not remove it, um, do not remove the flapjacks or cut them or anything like that. Is let them cool in the tin until completely cold, probably about half an hour, and only then go in with either a sharp knife or a cutter and cut them into the sizes that you fancy. So in my house, we kind of tend to go about that size. So nice big squares, but completely up yourself. You can make teeny little bites as well if you have smaller children. Um, and yeah, after that is I tend to just store them in like a kilner jar or um, some sort of container and they will last for about five days out of the fridge. So guys, enjoy. Let me know how you get on with that. If you have any questions after it, please post it up tonight. I will be checking later on. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and don't forget to post up your photographs of your finished projects. Okay, have a great evening. Bye.